LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so with this video, we're going to show you how to put your keys onto your keyboard. And we're going to start out by looking at the metal hooks that are on the keyboard. On top here, you can see there's a single large hook. And at the bottom, there's two smaller ones. But make sure to look at the different keys that you have because they can change position. And the position for those metal hooks on the keyboard determine the position for the metal hinges which are these so there's three steps that we're going to do the first one is click these hinges together to make one then put those on the keyboard and finally put the keycap on top now we're going to start with the large one the large hinge has two small pins at the top and two larger ones at the bottom and I say bottom because the top small pins are going to align wherever the large hook is. If the large hook is at the bottom, then you want to turn those small pins around in order for it to be aligned with the large hook. In this case, it's at the top. So we're going to leave it like this. Now, make sure not to put the entire piece upside down because even though it looks the same, the mechanism won't work you have to feel underneath the vertical bars if you feel a bump or an extra piece on the middle that faces the keyboard on top it's supposed to be one smooth part from top to bottom so that's the right position for this piece put it down in the right position for now and get your next piece which is this and this has um, a bar at the top that's going to go underneath the large hook so that's how you know that's the position for that the middle pins are going to click onto the holes that are in the middle of the large piece. And the bottom pin is going to click onto the keycap. So make sure not to put this piece upside down with the same technique. Feel underneath the sidebar or the middle pin. Uh, if you feel an extra bump that faces the keyboard and on top it's smooth, so now you know the position for both pieces. You want to put the small piece over the large piece. And we're going to uh, insert the pin that's to the left of the small piece onto the hole that's on the left of the large piece. So go ahead and do that. Then at the same time, you want to put the top bar of the small piece underneath the top bar of the large piece. So now you have the pin in to the hole and you have the large piece of the small piece under, I mean you have the top piece of the small piece underneath the large hinge. Now you grab onto that corner so it doesn't come out again and we have to insert the other pin onto the other hole. So there's not enough space. What you have to do is grab onto both pieces individually and pull the large one away from the small hinge in order for the pin to have enough space to actually move down there and there you go now both hinges are one we're going to put the top bar of the small piece underneath that large hook keep it in place with your one hand and with the other hand we're going to stretch um, or slide the hinges down enough for the hooks down here to grab onto the pins that are down there. So go ahead and slide and push downwards. Don't uh, Make sure not to push down against the keyboard until after you're sure that 
the hinges can wrap around or go around those metal hooks. Now that that's in place, you put your keycap right in the center. You push down evenly on all four sides. And that's it for the regular size key. For the large key, we're going to use an enter key. And it's the same procedure as the regular size key for the hinges. This is how it looks. And this is how it's going to be positioned because the large hook is at the top and this is the space for the large hook. You can see that at the bottom it's rounder so at the top there's actually a space for that hook to go into. So another difference is behind the keycap itself there's a metal wire so we're going to uh, put the key in the right position which is this and we're going to flip it over this way. We're not going to do it this way because it will create confusion. So flip it over this way and you can see at the very top it has two fittings and then right underneath those there's two smaller fittings uh, I mean bigger fittings. The big ones are for the hinges. You want to click the wire at the very very top fittings that are a bit smaller. You just put that in the wire in the center and click it down. That's all. So, assuming you already have the hinges in, um, we're going to put the key in the right position, open the wire up like that, and then you want to look at the under under um, the bottom part of the keycap so that you can insert the wire onto the fittings that are next to the uh, fittings for the hinges. So at the very right and the very left, there's fittings for the wire to go right through, and that's what we're going to do. So once you have those wires through those fittings, you just lay your keycap down and push it evenly on all four sides to click it onto the hinges. Now for the large or the space bar, um, you know, it's the same procedure for the hinges. There's one hinge here, one hinge here, and the rubber cup in the middle. Um, only difference is the wires that go behind. So this one has, well we're going to determine the position for the keycap first. You can see at the top here it's square and at the bottom it has a bit of an angle. So again we're going to flip it over this way and that's where the uh, center wire goes. Um, look for the fittings for that. It, it starts right here and then it goes all the way around. The uh, larger wire has to click onto the fittings that are at the very, very top. So once you have those in, turn it over, put it in the right position, which is this. Then flip it over like that so you can see the wires. And insert those wires onto the fittings that are at the very left and right. Next to the hinges, actually. And then you just lay your keycap down flat. And you click it onto the hinges. So let's go ahead and do that. And that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice. When trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.